Tell me, Lego fans, are you ready for a city update of Old Bricktown? Welcome, my fellow Lego fans, to another edition of Old Bricktown. It's been a while since my last LEGO City update. For those new to the channel, I had to disassemble Old Bricktown so that I might make room for a bed. My mother has Huntington's disease and each month she visits for an extended stay. Therefore, I want her to have a room of her own. Family trumps LEGO. So, how did I get my city out from storage and into the dining room? Well, first of all, this isn't the entire city, but it's most of it. Second, I built my city in 15 by 15 inch sections, the size of a large gray base plate. Thus, it only took me about 40 minutes to move and assemble what you see here. Also, since it's not entirely on an even surface, you might find gaps between sections. Let's take a closer look at the Ninjago district. Here's the first half of an uncompleted bridge that will eventually connect to the other side of the canal. The canal is my priority at the moment and I hope to have it completely finished early next year. Here we see the mock Ninjago expansion connecting Ninjago City with Ninjago Gardens. And while I've done a lot of work, there's still much to do with the canal. First, I expanded it further, installing buildings along its edge. I also want to note that everything you see is Lego. There are no wooden supports creating an elevated city. The entire infrastructure is made of Lego, I've done this by building one section on top of another. Later in the video, I will show you what lurks beneath the city streets. Let us move to the lower section of Old Bricktown. Again, this is not my ideal setup. That will come later when I move the city to a more permanent location. But being sectional, I can rearrange it anytime I wish to suit my needs and space. Furthermore, I've recently improved on my sectional system that I will show you in a future video. Here we come up on the Queer Eye Loft Daily Bugle mashup. I detailed this creation in a previous video if you missed it. And here is the Central Perk Cafe mock slash mod modular building. If you haven't, you should check out the two previous videos detailing this beast.
Now we get to see the other side of the canal. I still have plenty of room for future mocks and modulars. Let's turn on the lights to the Lego Boutique Hotel. Lighttailing.com was nice enough to send me one of their products for review. If you're looking to light up your town, then check out the review of their product. What I like is that you can see what's going on inside. So much goes into the interior that when displayed without lights, the focus remains just on the exterior. I'm also proud of this brick built Lucky Cat sign. It took a lot of work. I mirrored the design from a grainy Legoland Japan pick from the internet. All right, enough close-ups. Let's take a look at the whole thing. Now it's time to take a look underneath. And back behind the subway have little vignettes. Here is the Roswell crash. And let's take a look behind this door where the stormtroopers are guarding. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, watch a few of my others. But more importantly, happy building.